Hey guys, it's Miss K. Chris and welcome to my advice channel. This channel gives advice to all of you guys who wants to be a flight attendant. And I also put in videos about beauty and my daily life and travel vlogs as well. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you are new to get videos like that you're interested only if you're interested okay so again um, welcome to this um, mini series that we're doing on this channel this series is all about your questions about being a flight attendant and can you still be a flight attendant if you have this 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 and this okay so this video is specifically dedicated to the teats okay so the question is or the question we're going to answer today is can I still be a flight attendant if I have dentures or postizo. So if you are interested in that, just keep on watching. So guys, it has always been a conception or it has always been the idea that if you are a flight attendant, you need to have a good smile, perfect set of teeth, complete set of teeth, and yeah so what if what if only what if what if you don't have the perfect set of teeth and you have dentures okay <laughs> so that's the thing right um what i can say is that it really depends on the company of how strict they are the dentures nowadays we can get different kinds of dentures there is the one which is a fixed denture or the bridge uh, wherein um, you don't have to take it out and then there's the one that the classical postizo or the classic dentures wherein you have to take it out and it, it comes off and yeah um, there are also things like implants okay so what I can tell you guys is this the job of a flight attendant is basically a service job which mainly is uh, related to food serving food so that is the reason why dentures or removable dentures are not allowed because there are instances or just to prevent the instance wherein the denture will fall out to the food <laughs> that you are serving. This is also the reason why false lashes or the lashes that you put on your, on your hair, um, lids are not allowed, okay? Because when they fall off, they will look like an insect <laughs> okay they will look like a weird insect on someone's food so that is why uh, false lashes as well the one that you stick on is not allowed so if you need to put a denture on your tooth I would suggest that put a fixed bridge on it you have an implant or do something else that doesn't involve removing uh, parts moving parts on your teeth well that's just my personal opinion because uh, because of my background in the in the job as a flight attendant I've been a flight attendant for three years in the Philippines in the local it, local uh, company local airline here in the Philippines and also I've been a flight attendant uh, abroad as an international flight attendant for also three years and yeah um, that's what I learned about the industry but when it comes to the the application itself um, they don't really scrutinize if you have a denture or not so it's really up to you um, there are a lot of um, instances that they will ask you to smile and they will ask you to say ah and they will really look inside and but nowadays since there's a lot of people trying to apply for the flight attendant position they don't have the time to do all these things okay so basically if you look good when you are talking and smiling there's nothing that is obvious out there you would you would be able to uh, wing it <laughs> that's all I can say um, and when it comes to medicals yeah they look into your teeth report and everything and the department that is in charge of that is the grooming department if they find it that you need to really um, put some fixed bridge or whatsoever or this doesn't look good that is their final say and they will tell that to you after you are hired already make sure that you do everything to take care of your pearly whites and also they will take care of you <laughs> all right so that's it for this question 
If you want to know other things that will help you get the job, make sure that you also check out my 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 book. It's called Ready for Takeoff: Eight Proven Steps to Get Your Dream Job as a Flight Attendant. This is my cheat sheet when I was still trying to get the job as a flight attendant, and everything I learned through eight years of trying to get the job is in here. So make sure you check it out. This is available on Amazon.com, Shopee.ph. My shop name is Cakeries. And also on my website if you you want to buy it through credit card or any other means aside from an app which is the Shopee and this is a, a book that has a free nationwide shipping if you are from the Philippines so make sure that you check that out make sure that you give it a like if you like this video a thumbs up in Facebook uh, and in YouTube and a like on Facebook if you're watching this on Facebook and as well as make sure that you share it to your friends who you think would benefit from this video and subscribe to this channel click on that notification bell so that you would be informed if I have new videos coming up and as always um, what else all the best on your flying or on your journey to becoming a flight attendant and I hope to see you guys on the next video fly with you soon bye so guys, uh, lots of you ask me if uh, you need 2020 vision to be a flight attendant. Is it a must? Will I be rejected? Should I even go to the interview if I don't have great eyesight? Okay, so my answer to this question is that yes, if you, even if you don't have a 2020 vision, you can still get the job as a flight attendant. How?